Samahan niyo po akong pasukin ang tahanang ito at kilalanin ang mga naninirahan dito. Walang iba kung hindi ang power tandem na mag si Ambassador Cristina Castaner, Ponce Enrile at Katrina Ponce Enrile. Beauty with a Filipina heart. Ito ang katangi ang bumikani sa puso ni Senador Juan Ponce Enrile. I member ako ng Bachelors Club. Eh, nagkaroon kami ng party. Doon kami dalawa lang nagkita. Siya ay si Cristina Castanier Ponce Enrile. Dalawampun isang taong gulang pa lamang noon si Cristina na makipag-isang dibdib kay Juan Ponce Enrile. Nabiyayaan naman sila ng dalawang anak, sina Jack at Katrina. May gitat lumpung taon ang naninirahan ng pamilya Ponce Enrile sa tahanang ito na may lawak na 7,000 square meters. Hi, Good morning! Thank you so much, Ambassador. Welcome. Thank you so Welcome. much for allowing us to experience the home. Lovely, lovely home. Beautiful home. I'm going to go cook first. I'll, go to, I'll see you later. Great. All right? Uh -oh. Cool. I'll have a taste of whatever that is. Good. Thank you. Thank you. And this is the family area. Family area. Yeah. I have the Pope's uh, chair that he used when he came here in one of his functions. They borrowed this chair from you? Is that no, what you're no, no. You it, it was one of the five chairs that uh, Tony Adriano made for the Pope, uh -huh. and he gave me one of them. Uh -huh. Ay, Ambassador, what is this? That is the uh, Our Lady of Guadalupe. I bought it in uh, Mexico. Why Our Lady of Guadalupe? What's I don't know, there? because I had an aunt who said she was very attached to the devotion to the Lady of Guadalupe, so it grew with me. And so I said, someday I will go to, to Mexico just to see. Those four paintings there, hand paintings, do you see that? Yes. That is Come yours on. truly. You painted those. Yes. Aside from painting, do you play the piano? Do no, you I dance? no. I sing and I act. I was a dramatic actress. And On stage. I came out in plays in Spanish for the Circulo Scenico. Uh, I was the daughter in the famous uh, the Rose Tattoo. I and you, don't you feel the? Yeah. Sometimes I I feel the urge of going back to those memories, but I'm too old. Too old. <laughs> Ambassador, who was the architect of your house? Uh, ben Soriano. Ben Soriano. You know, I noticed that there are no doors. Part of my myself, I like everything open, you see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't like things that are closed. Yes. So I wanted Ella and I where I would entertain and that would be vast enough and open enough for people. Sa Lanay, makikita ang koleksyong Elepante ni Cristina Ponce Enrile. Sa kasalukuyan, umaabot na raw ito sa humigit kumulang isang libo na nagmula pa sa iba't ibang panig ng mundo. I started with a few and then everybody started giving me. Why not a cat? Why not a dog? Why not a rabbit? Why memory, elephants? memory. I never forget. Like the elephant. Like the... <laughs> <laughs> Nahilig rin si Ambassador Cristina Ponce Enrile sa pagdidesenyo ng damit. You design clothes. Yes, I bought the material. You buy the material. And, and, and then I make them. And this one, I, 
I uh, design, uh, designed it, bought the appliques and put it on this for Christmas Day. Oh, really? Yeah. This is an Armani I bought uh, about uh, many years ago. It was all black and I added all these uh, trimmings to make it uh, more interesting because it was Beautiful. too... Beautiful. Yeah. But Ambassador, I hear that you have a, uh, a small chapel inside the house. Yes, Would I'll you show like you. That's the love of my life oh, place. Really? So that's your favorite place yeah. in the entire compound. Yes. Can we take a look? Sa buong kabahayan, agaw pansin ang chapel sa loob ng bakura ng mga entire. Marami raw ang namamangha sa ganda at disenyo nito. Ang The Oratory of Our Lady of Fatima. This is my chapel. Dito raw madalas na naglalagi si Ambassador Christina, lalo na tuwing linggo at kung may libring oras siya. Sa kanyang pagiging relihiyosa at pagiging matulungin sa mga pangangailangan ng silbahang katoliko, hindi nakapagtatakang siya ay naging Ambassador to the Holy See noong panahon ni dating Pangulong Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. You had a I, short stint as ambassador. May I know why you... Because I got sick. I got sick. You got sick of... Yeah. What I you? developed chronic fatigue syndrome. It's a very debilitating. You, you That's why tired. chronic. Tired. You perpetually always yeah. tired. Yeah. But there it's up and down. There are days that you feel like you're Superman. And there are days you... Uh, all you want to do is just lie down. All right. Yeah. Ngunit sa kabila ng nangyari, patuloy pa rin si ambassador sa pagtulong sa simbahan kung mayroong kailangan sa kanya. Wow! It's a church, Ambassador, more than a chapel. That's what everybody says. Beautiful, beautiful church. What is significant about this church? First of all, the four poles that are there were part of the tree that broke the other uh, smaller chapel. Oh, so there was a time you had a small chapel yes. in front of this yes, church? in front of this one. Okay. And that was a 34-year-old eucalyptus tree uh -huh. that broke the chapel in half. I asked Ben Soriano, how much will it cost? And he gave me a number. I said, no, we'll build a new one. How does this chapel serve you? Well, when I come to the chapel every day, I pray. When I am happy, I come. When I have problems, I come. And I get peace. I have a lot of peace when I sit alone here. Alone here. here. Alone. That's a beautiful crucifix That's, right there. Katrina gave that to me about 30 years ago. That's gold. And then it's ivory. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. Yeah, there is yeah, ivory. yeah. That crucifix. Yes, yeah. it is so beautiful. As a mother, she's very supportive. Even when we were growing up, she didn't always give us what we wanted to have easily. She always wanted us to earn and learn our lessons. She's always there for me. Like whenever I need help or do something wrong, she's always there to help me. My mom's the boss. It's either her way or the highway. Hi, this is my home. As you can see, it's really an open space. People come in and out. We always entertain a lot. I have lots of kids and all their friends are always here, including my husband, he loves to entertain. So I have my TV room here, a gym, formal living room, and the lanai. Uh, I started with two or three, and then from there, actually the first few ones, I was watering them so much, and dami ko din napatay, pero dami. But then, what pleasure do you get out of? It's it's peaceful, you know, and then when, when the flowers start coming up, and then you know, they're all different colors, it's so nice to see, di ba? Naging laman ng balita at naging mainit sa mata ng publiko, ang babaeng anak ni na Ambassador Cristina at Senator Juan Ponce Enrile na si Katrina. Kilala kasi siya bilang party animal noong dekada 70. Uh, sa mga anak ko, 
Si Katrina naman, nung namatay si Alfi Anido, sinasabi nila na nagkagalit daw sila at uh, agpubatay naman yung anak kong lalaki si Jack. Eh, paninira lahat yun sabagkat doon eh, uh, hindi na ako guwapo doon sa administrasyon ni Presidente Marcos at sinisiraan na ako nung mga kaalyado ni Mrs. Marcos. Sa kasalukuyan, si Katrina Ponce Enrile ang tumatayong presidente at chief executive officer ng JACA Group of Companies, ang kumpanyang pagmamayari ng mga Enrile. Let me take you now to uh, Petra and Pilar. What better way to release my creativity than through food, which I love to do. Mahilig ako kumain. Mahilig ako magluto. Do you have memories of your mom cooking when you were small? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she taught me how to make uh, chicken curry oh. and I said... Hindi, pero talagang memory mo, talagang siya mismo na Yeah, she, ko, she likes to cook. She, she, she cooks Spanish food very well. Yeah. How many children live with you here? I have three. My ah. uh, my eldest daughter is in New York. Uh -oh. Yeah, she lives there. But uh -oh. she, right now she's here. She spent Christmas here. Ah. Yeah. You're living here with your parents. Is that your choice? That it's their choice? choice. It's their choice. Yeah. Ah. But of course, I love my parents, and so it's it's okay with I you. I don't have a problem with that. You don't yeah. have a problem. Yeah. Living yeah. with your parents, well, effectively living in a compound with your parents. Uh, ilan ang advantage, ilan ang disadvantage? 50-50. The disadvantage is, it's, it's kind of obvious naman. I can't do everything that I want to do. Talaga? Okay. Eh, I mean, hiwalay ka naman eh. Hiwalay, syempre, but you know, like my kids, they want to have a party here, maingay. I have to consider, okay, mga ganon. I mean, okay. really... More advantages than disadvantages. Yeah, yeah, I have their support, you know, I, you know, I can run to them anytime. But the thing is, they can also come here anytime. <laughs> Midnight, na jumpa daddy ko, you know, nagpapatawag sa mga tao, you know. So. Oh, really? Oot, yeah. Katrina, what is the lowest point in your life? Actually, was... madami akong low points. Pero pinaka? Pinaka, pinaka, pinaka. I have to think about which one it is. <laughs> What is it therefore that you you want your daughter to, to learn from from your experience with your husband? It, uh, you apparently were not successful in your in your in your marriage, right? So, so I'm on my I'm on my third. You're now on your third. And now it's, it it's, looks like yeah, it's going. This is it. This is this it. Is, yeah. it. I, is this uh, something that you have taught your daughter just to keep quiet when your when your husband is talking. She doesn't always keep quiet. Oh, she no. doesn't always no. keep quiet. No, no, uh -huh. Uh -huh. no. Uh -huh. Especially when I'm angry, I don't keep quiet. Don't. Okay, okay, okay. Pa paano pag kayo nagagalit kay Senator Enrile? How does that happen? Ah, nako, very violent. Very World violent. War. World War II. Really? <laughs> As in what? As in you're the kind who would throw, you know, oh, things yes. at him and yes. and in yes. what? That's, but I have. Very very, very long patience. Few and far between, but yeah, oh, it happens. Okay. Paano naman kayo na aapis ni Senator Enrique? Madali lang eh, because he's he's very wise. Very wise. He pretends that nothing has happened. Na na wala siyang ginawa. Wala. 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 And I so and all the more you get angry because he doesn't mm, want to talk, right? No, I I let it go. So I really let it go. After you throw your tantrums, yeah, that's, that's my role. What's your role? <laughs> the one who tells my dad yeah. what made her angry. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I tell her many many things, and she is my uh, connection to the father. Ikaw yung negotiator. Referee. Ikaw yung referee. Basically, the uh, referee. How do you usually do that? I edit. What do you edit? I edit what they say to each other. So usually, knowing your parents, no, what will appease your mom? The truth. Um, but sometimes I tell her, 
you're too old na don't I mean sometimes the truth really hurts. Uh-oh. So um so I'd ask her, is it really important pa now? I mean to you know, you're at this this point in your life. So you know it's easy to talk to both of them, especially when they're like apart. Oh. Yeah. And your father? Also. Dad just doesn't want to be told what to do. Of course, who, who does? Okay. And then sometimes I, I overstep, you know, he goes, you're, you're just my daughter, ha? Yeah, he oh, 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 you know, oh, 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 you're just my daughter. Oh, oh. Ah, and it, and it, with it, that, maybe I can ask for the food to be brought in so we can chat over food. Oh, yes. wow, yes. But we cooked earlier. Our puttanesca. Yeah. Here go. Yes. Mommy won't. Well, she can have a taste. <laughs> mommy, so. Oh, you know. Panahon ng martial law raw ang itinuturing ng pamilya Enrile na pinakamahirap na pagsubok sa kanilang buhay-pamilya at buhay-politika. Lalo na ang pagbaliktad ni Juan Ponce Enrile na noon ay defense minister sa ilalim ng Rehimeng Marcos. It was February 22, 1986. It's a revolution. The start. The start. That morning, <clears throat> coming from the other house, the front pages read, <clears throat> Enrile and his family flee the country. Mm-hmm. Okay. My dad goes, Ma, ma the, the three of us, Bihis ka, let's go out. Let's show that we're still here. And we went to what's now the atrium. That's where 365 was at that time. Okay. While we were there, my dad started getting all these calls. And I saw his face changed. On the way home, he goes, he told me about what happened to the guards that were assigned to Ongpin. They were rounded up, and then and, and then he kept quiet. It was a quiet, short ride from Atrium all the way here, about five minutes. But I could see in his face that something was terribly wrong, only to find out later that my dad left. Mm-hmm. And at that point, I never thought if I was ever going to see him again alive. Mm-hmm. So, And for the next couple of days, um, we were all dispersed. I didn't know where my mom was. She didn't know where oh, so I was. I didn't even know, know where my story. daughter was. I just had my son with me. And um, until I didn't I, 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 I left my son with, with, with um, my partner then. And I said, I'm going to go join my dad in, in Aguinaldo. But that was the happiest time. Naman because from the time that I thought that I was never going to see him again, till the time that at least I was with him. Sa kasalukuyan, namumuhay ng tahimik kasama ng kanyang sariling pamilya si Katrina Ponce Enrile. Ang mga aral ng nakalipas ay siya niyang baon at ibinabahagi sa kanyang apat na mga anak. What was the biggest problem you had with Katrina? Ah, matigas ang ulo. She like... <laughs> she like to have many boyfriends very young. That's why I'm uh, I'm watching Christian. I don't want her to use too much makeup. She's you too mean young. Christian. I Christian. <laughs> Christian and Christian. Yeah. And I yeah. always pray for that every day. She doesn't know that. May kasabihang a family that prays together stays together. Ito raw ang pinakamatibay na sandigan ng pamilya Enrique. Sa gitna ng unos at pagsubok. Hindi nalimutan ni Ambassador Cristina Ponce Enrile na ang pinakamabisa niyang pananggalang sa problema ay ang pananalig sa may kapang. Totoo nga namang nakakataba ng puso kapag nakilala mo ang mga taong noon ay nababasa mo lamang sa mga dyaryo at napapakinggan mo sa mga kwento. Masarap makilala kung ano sila sa kanilang kaibuturan. Tulad ngayon, na nakilala natin ang mag-inang Katrina at Christina Ponce Enrile. Ako po si Mel Tianco. Nagsasara na po ang Powerhouse.